good morning so today i thought i would show you a couple of books that i got from a garden center weirdly they've got like a cafe and a shop and all these lovely things and i spotted these two books and i was really excited because they were both on offer the first one that i managed to find was this one which is my garden so it's a sketchbook for gardeners artists and landscape lovers Obviously, you all know that I love plants um, and I love drawing, so it just kind of made sense. Now, the great part about it, it was £16, marked down to £4.99, which is a bargain. And it's a lovely, thick, big book, so I thought I'd get a lot of enjoyment for five quid. Basically, there's like little prompts in there. It's a bit like an art prompt book, which is really exciting. Um, but yeah, you draw plants and flowers and things. Fill these beds with flowers and vegetables and design your own. So they've given us the um, the raised beds, but we get to add loads of things in there, which I thought would be really exciting. And it's just so unique and different. Should we have a little bit of a dive into the garden book? Um, have a little play and then, yeah, we'll get into that one later on. I think I've decided to go for this one. It's the coloured courtyard. Um, what do I want to paint it in? I don't even know. Might start off with my Artex Simtap markers. Ooh. something really beautiful about the shape of these pens is that they're in a leaf shape already which is fantastic so you just press them down and you've got leaves it's wonderful you guys may have seen on a previous video that we've actually got a frog and um, yeah as I was sat drawing uh, he started croaking randomly and I just love it so much so here he is croaking away was funny timing i just got a parcel through the post and i think i know what it is so um talking of frogs <laughs> now this one you need to open very carefully if you're not a fan of bugs you might want to look away now now this is what we feed the frog <laughs> let's take these little guys to their little home your new home Come on them. don't worry i'm not gonna get any bugs out again now so you can carry on watching the rest of the video <laughs> So I've got to pack a few orders today, uh, one which is so exciting because it's from Sarah from So Craftastic, which is just insane. I can't believe that I'm packing an order for Sarah. So we're going to pack up Sarah's order and I've also got an order from Karen who has been an incredible supporter of my channel for quite a while now. So I'm really excited to send her some goodies as well. So let's get some packing done. As you can see I actually film it from the top view as well because I'm actually filming this so I can do it for a short as well. So I like to pack my orders and make them into shorts, they do quite well and of course you've got those lovely ASMR packing noises which I find glorious anyway, I don't know about you. <laughs> I 
and now it's time for Karen's. I just wanted to say a massive thank you as well to all my subscribers. Thank you so much for all your support, every like, every comment. Honestly, each comment motivates me so much and gives me so much joy. And for those guys that have put in orders over the last few months, thank you so much for your generosity. Honestly, it means so much to me and it's such an honour to know that my art is being displayed out in all these different homes. Thanks guys. If you haven't clicked that subscribe button, please do. It helps the channel massively and I'm really looking forward to growing together. Just going to do a little bit of editing. Um, I've done my video, but then I cut it up and turn it into a few shorts for the week. So then I've got shorts posting daily and then my two main videos each week. So I've done two shorts, I'm just going to do one more. shutting down all the cloud nines. Who knows? The guy's clearly lost it. Yeah, that... Mm, you know, maybe it was my fault. So... I really want a little mat to go underneath my plan at the minute. I've just got a rag under there just to protect the piano, basically. Thinking about crocheting like a little round mat for it because I thought that would be quite cute. So I'm um, going to do a little bit of crocheting today. Question is, what colour do I choose? Hmm. I mean, got too much colour over there, so it doesn't really matter, does it? Could do a brown one to go with the piano. One of these. Really hard to work with. I might just go for a normal brown. Pull them down. I can't reach! Ah! <laughs> need to go pick up the kids now so I'm gonna get changed out of my really manky clothes that I've been wearing for my art because I don't want to ruin my nice clothes um yeah so let's get out of this horrible outfit and go pick up my lovely children much better a little less rough 
was thinking actually I'm gonna take my crochet in with me because we have to hang around a little bit because my eldest daughter has got an extra session after school so I might do a little bit of crocheting in the library Their hotel is delightful. Sticky slug trails paint the wall. Moth mash with tapeworm sausages washed down with pureed eel. So yesterday we did a page in this book and I'm so pleased with how it turned out. I really, really enjoyed it. I definitely recommend this book if you do pick it up anywhere. Yeah, I'm going to have a lot of fun with this book. I, I just love an excuse to be drawing and painting flowers. So win-win. So let's move on to the second book that I got from this garden centre and it's called A Kaleidoscope Sticker Mosaic. Um, so this one is the Flora and Fauna one and basically you take each of these little stickers out and you put them on the page, a bit like a paint by numbers. Uh, so you're painting that in using the stickers, which I thought would be really nice. I mean, it's gonna be really hard and really intense, but as just like a nice little hobby, I can just sit there and do one of these um, sticker books. My, my daughter also got one as well. She is nine and she's done amazing at it. Like I couldn't believe it. I thought, you know, it'd be a little bit messy. Um, at her age but no she's done an absolute pristine job she might even be better at this than me so um, we'll find out Layla the competition is on <laughs> Need a lot of patience for this. I don't know if I'm actually enjoying it so far. At first it was just really hard and annoying and it's annoying me that it's not all perfectly in line. But it is getting a little bit easier. I'm starting to find a little bit of flow to it. You never know, by the end of it, I might absolutely love it. So this is a little exciting. Um, we ordered ourselves a little something special. It's not sausages, <laughs> by the way. So we used to have loads of chickens and ducks and it got a little bit hectic. It was a lot of work. So we found a lot of lovely homes for a lot of our chickens and ducks. And we ended up keeping three lovely little girls. They're getting a bit older now, so they're not laying as many eggs for us as we'd like. So we thought we'd add one or two chickens to the mix. There isn't little chicks in here. They are fertile eggs. So um, we've got some fertile eggs and our chicken is actually brooding at the minute. So we're gonna put the eggs straight under her, which is so exciting. So let's open this package and see what we got. Just hope they've arrived in one piece. should be all right in the polystyrene so that's really good oh, lovely blue bags oh my god look at these beauties we've ordered some cream leg bar um chicken eggs so cream leg bars are fantastic because you can sex them from birth so the cream leg bar are lovely little chickens i'll i'll put a picture of the cream leg bar chickens here so you can see um but yeah they lay really decent amount of eggs and they lay blue eggs which is 
so lovely. So what we've got to do, we've just got to leave these, in fact we leave them upside down, like this. We'll leave them upside down for the rest of the day and that just allows the the, the sack to like reattach itself because through delivery it gets shook around a little bit. So if you do that prior to incubating them or putting them under a chicken, um, yeah, your results are a lot higher. And then tomorrow, I'm gonna pop them underneath Harriet. We've never done that before. We've only ever incubated our own eggs. It's really exciting. I'm really looking forward to having some more chicks again. It's been a little while and I do really enjoy it. Anyway, I'm gonna stop talking about chickens, I'm sorry. I've been sat here for hours and hours and hours and I said that I weren't enjoying it and I'm not sure if I am enjoying it yet but I'm completely addicted and want to finish it. I've got two flowers left and I, just, I can't believe how much I've done. It's very satisfying. Um, yeah, I've completely zoned out and... Do I, look, do I like it? Do I not? I don't know. I still don't know. But I can tell you that I really, really want to finish it. So, um, almost there. Interestingly, when I finished this piece, I got a massive dopamine hit from it. It felt really good when it all came together. The process was difficult, mainly because the pieces don't line up perfectly and it frustrates me that it's not perfect. But we're not perfect and it's okay. And the final piece looks really nice actually, even with the little gaps in between. It looks like collage. A little bit frustrating, but I still recommend it. But I think for people that have got a little bit more patience than me. <laughs>